it was only a little while ago, although it seems like quite a while ago. This was um, in 2019, three years ago, um, January of 2019, just a little bit over three years. Uh, this was the opening of the Golden Globes, and how soon we forget. I mean, I remember seeing about this at the time and remarking, remarking it at the time as incredibly bizarre and weird and uh, off-putting. Um, but I had forgotten about it, and you'd probably forgotten about it too. But uh, then I... I don't know what happened. Something jogged my memory, and I and uh, it came back to mind uh, for me. Uh, anyway, let me just show show this to y'all. It's about uh, thirty seconds long, or or actually, it's about uh, fifty five seconds long. It's about a minute uh, in length. Um, and uh, this was the opening of the Golden Globes the year before uh, Gervais uh, Gervais's legendary uh, hosting of the show and. Uh, this was the year prior to that. This is Andy Samberg, and I can't remember the, the woman's name. At this point of the show, the host would do something fun and spontaneous to show how we're all just ordinary people, Michelle like Lowe. ordering pizza for everyone. But since we already get food at the Globes, we thought we'd mix it up and try something new. It's already... <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Sorry about that. But already, you notice he said, like, ordering pizza for everyone. Pizza... Pizza, hmm, hmm, hmm. Like ordering pizza for everyone. I'm sure that was just a harmless, uh, harm, harmless bit of a uh, bit of banter, and uh, in no way uh, uh, a reference to anything. Anyway. So roll up your sleeves, Hollywood, because you're all getting blue shots. You know you wore a sleeveless gown for a reason. Hey, shot, 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 shot. Excuse me, ma'am, ma'am. You're definitely going to want to get to foe. Great. <laughs> These nurses are all licensed professionals straight from the right aid in Echo Park. And look, if you're an anti-vaxxer, just put a napkin over your head and we'll skip you. You're welcome, you guys. This costs 50 grand, you guys. You're welcome. <laughs> Some of the All right. Where, where do we begin with this? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where to start with any of this. First of all, I, I like Andy Samberg. I've always liked Lonely Island. I've always thought their stuff was funny. So it, it uh, I'm not going to say it hurts me to see that he's in on something like this. Uh, some... Uh, some coded uh, thing, some operation, some uh, something that's something very different from a comedy sketch disguised as a mere comedy sketch. But what's really comedic about any of this? It's it's just bizarre. It's crazy. Um, <laughs> this was this was twenty nineteen. Okay, I'm not going to put too fine a point on it. This was 2019, the year before 2020. Okay, and uh, yeah, I guess it's it's like the it's the middle of the flu season. It is January, uh, and I don't know. There there are all these all these doctor looking people, uh, you know, wearing white lab coats. I don't know if these are real doctors or not. Um, I don't know if they're carrying actual syringes or not. Uh, the the people, uh, the celebrities in the crowd, the celebrities in the the, uh, the front table. You're definitely gonna want to get to <laughs> Look at look at Willem Dafoe. He doesn't look like he's in on the joke. <laughs> he looks like he's pretty terrified. <laughs> and uh, what uh, what Andy Samberg just said was, you, "You're definitely going to want to get Defoe." <laughs> he just <laughs> he's like, he just doesn't um, doesn't look like he he he, uh, he looks like he kind of wants to laugh it off, but he's also kind of like, "Get the hell away from me!" 
with that needle. <laughs> I don't know who you are. <laughs> like this is just 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 so weird. Uh, okay. And um, let's see. Yeah, and here's a few other, you know, forced smiles. Is that Bill Murray there? I think. Um, trying to recognize any any other these other of these people. It's like they're sort of they just don't they're not in on the joke is what I'm saying. And what is the joke? The, <laughs> what is the joke? Why 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 are they they opening the show like this? Uh, and Sandberg goes on to say, if you're an anti-vaxxer, just put a napkin over your head. That that's putting out that term anti-vaxxer, which of course it's not like it wasn't, uh, in the, uh, the parlance, uh, of, uh, rhetoric at the time, but anti-vaxxer became much, much, much more uh, of a uh, weighted term uh, after March of 2020, didn't it? And even up to now. Um, and so there's something, it's like there, there's, there's, there's some anticipatory, uh, you know, like, like, like they're, they're putting that, I always say seeding, seeding the consciousness of people, uh, you know, planting seeds. I think that's what the point of a lot of these, these psyops are is just to, uh, to plant seeds in our minds and, uh, you know, they might remain dormant for a time. And then, uh, eventually though, you know, we, we remember on some level or other, I, I suspect that we do. I had forgotten totally about this, this entire thing. But I mean, somebody tell me what, what's funny about this. And I don't mean like, this is, I always, I always have to clarify. It's, it's, it's sort of annoying that I have to clarify all the time. When I say this isn't funny to me, I don't mean I'm offended by it. Although I am, in this case, I am kind of offended by it, but take that, take my offense out of it. Uh, if, if I weren't offended by it, I still wouldn't find it funny because it's not funny. It's just strange. Like where in the world does this come from? Um, yeah. Okay. It's flu season in 20, in January, 2019, a much simpler time. Um, it's flu season and people get flu shots in flu season. Some people do. I never did. I never have. Um, but, uh, but some people do. And, uh, you know, that's fine, whatever it's your body. You can inject into it, <laughs> whatever you think is best for your own health. I don't have a problem with that, but, but why are they putting this into people's minds? Uh, you know, why flu shots, they stay, say it in unison, uh, and having, People in white lab coats pretending to be doctors. Maybe they are real doctors. I don't know. Maybe there's maybe there's a real. Sh there's something really discomforting about, isn't it? Like suddenly people come out with uh, what could be syringes, and they're walking towards you, and they're they're gonna you know they're it's like, I mean I would I would put a napkin over my head. <laughs> I would definitely do that, or I would just try to, you know, ease my way out of there. There's, um, there's definitely some, some level of threat here. Like we're going to get you, we're going to get you with our, with our needles. We're going to stick, we're going to stick our needles into you and fill you up with our stuff. I mean, oh man. So I don't know what more to say about it. I just, this is like a little trip down memory lane, even though it was only three years ago. Seems like a long, long, long time ago, doesn't it? Uh, so let me know what you think about all this. <laughs> Again, I had forgotten. I, I remembered uh, at the time it re it definitely registered with me, but but then I forgot about it, and then I uh, it came to mind again, and I thought, uh, why not bring this back? You know, in my 
back to the back into the consciousness uh, in my uh, small way. Uh, so, tell me your thoughts below.